Hi, I'm Charlie Ashton from Wind River, and I'm here with my colleague Misbah from VMware. We're standing just outside the Intel booth at Mobile World Congress, and we're going to talk about the cooperation between Wind River and VMware that has resulted in a very interesting solution for service providers that are looking to deploy edge applications. One of the challenges that service providers face is that there's really no such thing as a greenfield network or a greenfield deployment in the telecom world today. Anytime carriers are looking to add new services to generate new revenue, they're always doing so within the constraints of an existing core network. And this has become especially a problem as carriers look to deploy applications based around edge compute so that they can launch innovative new services like um, augmented reality and connected cars and smart stadiums and a lot of industrial IoT applications. They're constrained because typically the cloud platform that they'll deploy at the edge is different from the cloud platform that they already have in their core network and they don't want to rip up that core network. So with that as a little bit of background, Misbah, why don't you tell us a little bit about the, the collaboration between Wind River and VMware that has solved this problem for the carriers? Yeah, absolutely, thanks a lot. So VMware and Wind River have been collaborating for about the past year, year and a half or so, in consortium in starting up ONAP and working with ONAP to actually provide some of the open standards to be able to allow operators to have that management and orchestration across core and edge services, as you mentioned. And so from VMware's perspective, you know, we're providing that underlying NFV infrastructure to allow operators, as you talk about, extend their services not only from the core data center, but also to the edge of the data center as well. And then having that overlaying management and orchestration so it allows operators to really deploy services seamlessly across both edge and core and talk and introduce services as you mentioned. Thanks very much for, for the explanation. So let's now go take a look at a demonstration um, that's going to illustrate what Ms. Barr was just talking about. And what we'll see in the demonstration is a scenario where we have VMware software running the core network and the Wind River software running the edge compute platform all orchestrated by the ONAP um, environment which is taking care of the federation that Ms. Barr uh, described. So thanks very much, Ms. Barr. Thanks a lot. Hi, we're at Mobile World Congress 2018, and I'd like to show you how we're deploying a federated telco cloud. We're using a, a, a platform, an open source platform, from the Linux Foundation called the Open Network Automation Platform, or ONAP. In this platform, there are many different components. One of those components is a multi-cloud manager. The multi-cloud manager, when it has the northbound interface uh, information for any cloud in a provider's network can contact that cloud. Once that cloud is contacted, whether that is a core cloud or an edge cloud, that information from the cloud, particular information in the cloud, can be uploaded into the ONAP platform. That information could be something as simple as how many CPUs it has, how much memory it has, but it might be very, very deep information as well. That information could be contained uh, with some, maybe spe some specific hardware offloading in the chip, or maybe something very specific about the hardware. Consider an edge cloud. It may have an accelerated virtual switch, uh, high availability, particular network functions, or SRIOV, that information is uploaded to the cloud as well. It also, the location of that edge cloud is uplocated into the manager as well. So when, it, when, a, um, when a provider is deploying a service, they can make intelligent decisions about what components of a service are deployed where. For instance, if they're deploying a virtual IMS, uh, most of that virtual IMS will be deployed into the core cloud but the specific components that talk directly to consumer devices are going to be deployed to the edge where the consumers can gain quick access to it and have ultra low latency. If the cloud, if the edge cloud maybe is deployed at a, at a football stadium, very specific information and videos, say replays of events from the football game, they can be cached in the edge cloud as well. So when you have 100,000 uh, subscribers all at the football stadium trying to gain access to that information, it'll come to them quickly, it'll come to them reliably. We won't have delays and we'll have a much better end user, uh, end user experience. 
So in this simple demonstration, like I mentioned, it's a virtual IMS. Most of it is, um, is deployed in a core cloud, which is located at an Intel facility in Portland, Oregon. But there's a small piece of that, again, the piece that communicates directly to the end user device that's deployed here in Barcelona on an edge device. This edge device is here and it's running titanium cloud. Now, here at the event, I have a mobile phone that's connected to a wireless network here. Our edge device is also connected to that network. And then this computer is running a client, is connected to that network and it's running a client. So when I make a phone call from here, even though the majority of the IMS is running on a core cloud in Portland, Oregon, the initial connection will all happen locally. So when I hit dial, we immediately get a connection. If we were to move the, uh, the IMS proxy up into the core cloud, we would have had a three or four second delay depending on the network. But since we have it here locally, we're able to make advantage or take advantage of multiple clouds in a provider's network. Thank you and have a good show.